what, what, what sort of what sort of false beliefs do people have about stem cells? Um, a lot of false beliefs. So you, when you get stem cells in a vial, as they come in a cryopreservant, so that you know, they antifreeze basically. As soon as you warm it up in your hand, those cells die because it's lethal. Right. When I when I do that in the laboratory, I have to get them out of that as rapidly while they're chilled. Right. So. The problem with stem cells is why would I not still be involved in stem cells? When I realized that I could do, you do without stem cells, I was ecstatic, okay? Because cells can cause an inflammatory result. Yeah, a lot of times they work and stop an inflammatory result, but they can also cause an inflammatory result. They do have DNA in them. Bad things happen when you have DNA. Exosomes do not have DNA in them. Mm -hmm. And you can have an allergic reaction to just the antifreeze that's in the tube. You know, nothing to do with the cells. So those three things alone, oh, there's a fourth one, which, which was a real scare. Cells are the same size as bacteria. If my cultures get contaminated, I can't get it out. It's ruined. I have to throw it out. Yeah. Exosomes are sterile filtered because they're so much smaller yeah. than bacteria. So the, uh, the opportunity for contamination is very large when using cells, and that's why the FDA has been coming down so hard on it. They just don't want to hurt people. Yeah. I mean, exosomes could work or not work. They don't care, but they know it's not going to infect anybody. Right. You know? Uh, and that's kind of the environment we're playing in.